Today is Sunday the 19th of May, just before my crash. <laughs> this is a friend of mine, Charles, from hey, uh, Columbia. Uh, we're riding from Alaska down through this valley. Uh, well, the road runs out through here and back around and the city's back off to the left. Uh, we've come from up in that direction here and uh, I'm going to try and film a little bit going downhill without crashing. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. All right. How am I going to do this? Like so. So you want to lead? Got a party going on here today, it's Sunday. We're pretty much out in the country here. We've got this place up here. We got caught in a little rain shower here a little while ago. Actually, I'm holding brakes on here all the way down this. You really get going on a lot of these if you just let the bike freewheel. But just a beautiful valley. When we first started, I didn't. It was raining. And I didn't want to get the camera out, but it was a lot lusher up at the up at the top of the mountain. We're probably a third of the way down through the valley right now. Uh, in total, I think it comes out to be about 12 or 13 kilometers. My kind of mountain biking. Very little pedaling involved. Every once in a while we'll get to a little slope where we'll have to shift down a gear and, and work our way around the corner, but then you're right back downhill again. Got some nice little houses out here in the country. They've been, somebody's moving out this way. Notice no bars on the windows either, not in that house. There's a few of them out here this way. Got another development going in over on this side. We got traffic, so try not to get killed here. Brick and mortar construction. Oh, here's another house. I need a GoPro I can stick up my hat instead of riding one-handed ass, especially since I had to ride, really ridden a bicycle in like 30 years. <laughs> yeah, I've had so much fun doing this trip. This is the sixth time I've done it this week. Figure I'm going to have about 75 kilometers of bike riding in this week. Good exercise. We have a big long flat plain coming here, which we slow down quite a bit going through it, but it does continue downhill all the way. Then you get into some real hairy drops where you start really picking up some speed and you've got some hairpin turns and stuff, so those are fun. A little farther down in the valley, and they were also up a little ways behind us. This is an 18 speed bike. Typically you keep it an 18 and give yourself a little boost here and there, but you'll get going so fast you can't even keep up with it knowing the pedals. So it's faster than you can get it going. Now this is a guy, he does it the hard way. He's gonna ride all the way up to the top. But it does. At any point you decide to turn around, it's all downhill all the way back to town. So that's the one good thing a guy told me. He said if you get tired on your way to the top, you just turn around and glide home.
Looks like these were all forests at one time. I think they've all been pretty much chopped down to make farms for uh, cattle all through the valleys here now. We're going to come down alongside a river. We've been crossing it back and forth. And uh, I came out through a ravine with a young man from here last week. It was quite, quite incredible what's, what's growing back in some of these areas. It was like being back in thick jungle. Never even know it was here unless you knew what you were looking for to find it. Normally this is fun to go fast on, but I don't want to do it fast on one hand for some reason. Speaking of the river, here's the river. And we're going to come to a little junction here. I'm going to go ahead and pull over to a stop. It is Sunday. We got music, man. Headbanging music everywhere.